Hello, welcome to the SaaS and Teradata Technology Showcase. Today, we're going to demonstrate to you the power of access to Teradata. I'm joined by Lisa Dotson from SaaS. Hello. And Paul Siegel from Teradata. Hello. And right now, I'm going to turn it over to Lisa to provide you a short overview of access to Teradata. SaaS access engines are very powerful native data access technology. The SAS access to Teradata engine is the critical component that will enable the in-database execution of SAS procedures that we're going to see today. Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to look at how we can take data from a SAS data set and rapidly load it into a Teradata database. So as in the previous videos, I'm going to connect to my Teradata machine, which is sitting over in San Diego. It is an eight node, sorry, six node 2800. And the data set I'm going to actually load from SAS is 10 million rows and five columns. Now I'm just going to turn on some logging so we can actually see what happens as the SAS code gets sent through to Teradata via the access engine that Lisa just talked about. And once you've got all the lib names defined, you can see here it's literally three lines of SAS code to load the data in. One thing to point out with our access technology is it's not just about accessing the data or allowing SAS procedures to be executed inside of the database, but it's also working with the environment to take advantage of the database's utilities. For example, bulk loading. Yes, thank you. And what we're going to do here is use the Teradata native bulk loader called Fastload. So we say Fastload equals yes. We tell it to use the Teradata parallel transport system by saying TPT equals yes. And since we're loading into an empty table, we're going to say just get it all in there and then do a final commit at the end. If something goes wrong, we'll just drop the table and start again from scratch. So let me run this. And while it's running, I'll talk a little bit about how, our, how the fast load engine wo actually works. So a good way to visualize what happens in a traditional database system is when you want to load data in or out of the system, it's like trying to fill up an Olympic sized swimming pool with a garden hose. The data is going to get there, but it's going to take a while. With the Teradata loaders, because everything is done in parallel, it's the equivalent of trying to fill that same Olympic sized swimming pool, but sticking five fire hoses in there. Not only do you have a thicker pipe, you've got multiple of them going in. So data goes in extremely quickly. And as for the various translations between SASisms and Teradataisms, like nulls and missing values, that's all handled automatically. Formats between the SAS system and the Teradata system, the data types, they're all handled automatically. And here we've just seen we've taken just a touch under 50 seconds to load 10 million rows into the database. Paul, that's really fast. And as you can see, it wasn't very hard to load all that data using access to Teradata software. And we will continue in the next session to show you what we do with this data. So stay tuned for the next session when we demonstrate the power of base SAS. Lisa, Paul, thank you, and uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.